This is the 2020 Delano 24FB, one of the new premier motorhome brands built by Thor Motor Coach on the Mercedes-Benz chassis. If you're looking for a motorhome that's small and sleek and easy to drive around the city, the Delano 24FB comes in at 25 feet 8 inches long, 11 feet tall, and 7 feet 5 inches wide without the mirrors. Now stay tuned because I'm going to show you everything there is to know about the new Delano 24FB. The Delano falls into the B-plus category of motorhome, built on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis which houses a 3 liter V6 turbo diesel engine letting out 188 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque, making it one of the best riding and driving motorhomes on the market. This redesigned chassis comes with a new 7-speed automatic transmission giving you two extra gears going down the road and better fuel economy. We've also loaded a ton of new safety features onto this chassis, which you're going to have to check out and you'll see later on in this video. But a few cosmetic differences you'll notice to the chassis up front is the new headlamps, grille, and a larger step up so that way you can clean the windshield much easier. Take note, you do have a one-piece molded fiberglass front cap that extends from the passenger wing wall up top to the driver's side wing wall. That's going to make your way more aerodynamic and eliminate all of the leak points you get with the seals on a conventional motorhome. You also get a beautiful automotive windshield on that front top of that cap, giving you a lot more natural light into the motorhome and a better view for your passengers riding along. Frameless side view windows on the side of that cap as well, and you are going to get 3M paint protection on the front nose, wing wall, and several other areas around the grab handle of the motorhome. Now the Delano comes with four exterior colors, two HD Max colors, and then you can option in the full body paint, which is an automotive Sickens paint. The exterior shell of this motorhome is fiberglass, which is vacuum bonded and laminated onto the aluminum structure. Every window, storage compartment, furnace return is all pre-framed out in aluminum. Now you do get a step up into the cab, making it much easier to get in and out. You can also see that curved wing wall design, which is gonna allow you to just cut straight through the wind and not give you any wind drag. You are gonna get power adjustable side view mirrors with a towing mirror, and you see the blinker along there as well. And something that's really cool on the Delano is it is coming equipped with the multiplex wiring system. So if you download the Vega Touch Mirror app on your cell phone, you can actually control everything from your cell phone. So with one touch of a button, I can control everything. So you can see here, let's get that awning out. One touch of a button, that awning comes all the way out. That is a premium, legless, carefree awning. You are gonna get a motion sensor on the front end there, so if you do get a large gust of wind, that awning will retract back in automatically as that awning moves. Now you do get integrated LED lights on that awning as well, so you can light up your campsite. There we go, got it lit. But we do have the frameless windows, which eliminates the seal on the outside of that window, prolonging the life of that seal and giving a sharper side profile. Now those are awning style windows. They do open out, so that way you can have it open in the rain. And going down below, you are gonna see your baggage bays. All your baggage bays are made out of rotocast plastic. It's a military grade plastic, but it's so nice because you can throw in muddy boots in here after a long day of camping and at the end of your trip, wash it out with a garden hose. You'll never get any mold, mildew, or rust. And all the lights, all the bays in your motorhome come with LED lights, which are one touch control. All the lights go on and they are on a sensor. So if you do leave them on, they will turn off automatically after a certain amount of time. You do get some pass through storage here so you can put some longer items in. And you do see your 30 gallon freshwater tank right there, which is elevated above the belt line and enclosed. All your tanks will be heated on this motorhome as well. You do get larger bulb seals on your bays as well. 110 outlet right here for any outside appliances. And all of your cargo bay doors are all gonna be slam latch, side hinged, and radius. So it gives you a much sharper look on the side having that curve down there, but much easier to open and close as opposed to the baggage doors that open up and might fall on your head. Now here you have your furnace return and your generator return. Those are painted and framed out in aluminum. But coming around the back here, you are gonna see your diesel generator. The LP generator comes standard. You can option in the diesel generator. You also, on the 24FB, you get the stabilizer jack standard and you can option in the hydraulic jack option. Rear storage bay right here. 
You can see your LP quick connect for a gas grill, which goes directly to your 68 pound propane tank. You're gonna get a finished storage up here. And then this is your tankless water heater. It's an on-demand hot water system. Turn this system on, you have a module in your bathroom which controls the temperature. Set the temperature and whenever you turn on the hot water, heats it up to the temperature you set it at. So it saves a ton of LP because it does not use any. It's fully electric. Going around to the back, back end here, you can see the beautiful new bumper design that has LED brake lights. And this is one of the few motorhomes where you're gonna see a rear ladder come in standard. You have a fully walkable roof, aluminum trust, 15 inches off center. That's also a crown roof, so all the dirt and debris is gonna roll off the side. Fully walkable roof and a seamless roof. So no seams up that, just your ACs and air vents. You also get your rear view camera mounted up top. Then you get your 5,000 pound trailer hitch. Your gross combined weight rating is 15,250 pounds and your gross vehicle weight rating is 11,030 pounds. So a lot of towing capacity here. Coming around here, you are gonna see your wet bay. This is gonna have your outside shower, all your controls for winterizing, hooking up fresh water, uh, black tank flush, and all your adjustments as well. This is gonna be your cable connection right here. What's really convenient is we've even put in an area for you to store your sewer hose. Coming up top here, this is gonna be your 30 amp shoreline connection. It is, does have an automatic transfer switch, so after you're done being connected, you can just throw that cord back in one of your storage bays. Right down here, you are gonna see your generator exhaust, which is on your non-camping side, so you'll never get any fumes on your camping side like you see with some motorhomes that have it on the back end or even on the camping side. More finished storage here, so that way you can put in probably some golf clubs, fishing poles, anything of that nature. And then even more storage. One thing I can't get over is the amount of storage space that we've put in these little motorhomes. You're gonna notice that white pipe with the red nozzle on it, that's gonna be your one inch freshwater tank drain. So it's gonna make it much more convenient and quick to drain that tank as opposed to the little lemonade nozzles they always had in the past. Now up front here, this is gonna be your propane tank, 68 pounds of propane. And one thing that's really cool you can be fully wired in with this motorhome from your cell phone. So, one touch of a button, you can turn on your generator, just like that. And you'll give it a few seconds, I usually wait 15 to 30 seconds. Um, usually you usually hear the microwave click on from the inside. Obviously on the outside you can't hear it here. So I'll just give it a few seconds and then I can actually get the slide out with my cell phone. So you can be out here if you've got a campsite, you got neighbors next to you or a tree, you can make sure you're not getting close to them. And one touch of a button, get that slide out. Where else can you see this? I mean, the technology with motorhomes now, it's just amazing how far they've come from the past. Now, the Delano does come with slide out awning topper standard. And one thing I want to talk about with this slide out, when you operate this slide out system, you always want to have full power. So you want the generator on or be plugged in the short power. And one thing to always remember is you always want to run the slide fully out or fully in. Don't stop halfway. If you ever do stop halfway like we just did, we stopped a few times, you just need to readjust the motors. They need to run a full cycle. So how you would do that is you would press the button six times and you hold on the sixth. When you hold on the sixth, your motors will run a full cycle, fully syncing up. So let's try it out right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And when you do that, the motors will run a full cycle, catch up with each other, and you're good to go. So now that we're on the roof, you can see just how far that front cap actually extends back. It goes back about a third of the way down the motorhome. You can also see the seamless roof design around the side there. But also, the Delano comes standard with a 100 watt solar panel. It is set up to handle two 100 watt solar panels at that. You do have your dome for your WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G LTE hotspot, which also houses the TV antenna, which is an omni multi-directional antenna. On the side there, you are gonna have your 360 siphon ventilating your black tank, keeping your motorhome smelling fresh at all times. I want to start out front because Thor has knocked it out of the park with this overhead bunk. 
With the automotive windshield in the side view windows, you get a ton of natural light in this motorhome, eliminating any claustrophobic feeling you would normally get on a smaller motorhome. So whether you're parked up in front of a cool campsite or you just want to fall asleep and watch stars at night, you get that ability here. And you do get a power shade on that front windshield and you do get side curtains on the side windows. So you can fully close that off as well. There is a 250 pound weight capacity on this front bunk. It is 36 by 79 inches. So a ton of room and it is a trifold. So when you do want to drive down the road, you just fold that up and that way you get a lot more headroom while you're driving. And you do get air vents up there as well. There's one thing you want to make sure you are nice and cool while you're sleeping. And there's your air vents. It's all roof channel ventilation. The Delano does come standard with a 13.5 BTU AC. But you can option in the 15.0 BTU AC with a heat pump. And you also get USB charging station right on the side here. So you can charge your cell phones and store them array underneath that netting. Nice and convenient. And you also get the swivel seats up front as well. And you do get the boosters that go on top. So that way you can sit up a little higher as well. Coming around the side, this is your booth dinette. It is a leatherette. The table drops down. That way you put the cushions on top and you can make this into a sleeping area. Then you get the two foot rests that flip up. That way you can have a nice area to, to have your feet up. And sit back and watch TV. It's extremely comfortable. You get two seat belts right here, putting you at four seat belts in this motorhome. And a ton of window space as well. But this is the new techno form cabinetry. This is the luxury gray. This is going to be your darker option. But a ton of cabinet space in here. You can see once we have it all up, just the amount of space you get in here. And these cabinet doors, they are the soft close, so they're not going to slam shut on you. Technoform does a great job with their metal accent and accenting here and their color design along the bottom. And we have Thor has put in the LED light strips up top to accent your cabinetry and give you a little more natural light in that really chic European feel inside the motorhome. You do get a vent fan on top of here as well. And then you go back a little further. This is going to be your Murphy bed. This is while the bed is up. You do get the couch with the storage underneath, and you do get a ton of storage space. So if you have bedspreads, pillows, or anything you want to store away, you have the ability right here. And it's, like I said, very deep storage. And I'll show you how this bed folds down in a second. But on the side here, you do get a 12 volt, 110, and USB outlets. And those are inverted outlets. You do have a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter in the Delano. Nice mirror there as well. Here you can see your control panel. This is Bluetooth to your multiplex control system. So that way you can pop that off the wall, put it next to your nightstand and control the main functions of the motorhome if you don't want to do it from your cell phone. Then below that, that's going to be the temperature regulator for your auto gen start. I want to take you up to the kitchen because what you're going to really see here is you get a lot of counter space. So you have a lot of area to do some work in the kitchen. You're going to get a deep stainless steel bowl sink you do get the retractable faucet head so that way you can wash all of your dishes with ease it does rotate and you do get the hot and cold adjustments here as well but again a lot of window space giving you a lot of good sunlight inside the motorhome and around the bottom here you are going to get more storage you got your trash bin there and then you are going to get four drawers located right here And like I said, this is our luxury gray cabinetry, the darker of the two options. And you do get the convection microwave right here, stainless steel, with more storage underneath. And on top of that, you are going to get your Dometic two gas burners. Beautiful glass LED lit backsplash. And you do get the glass top on there as well. Then more storage on top here, and it is lit with the LED strip lights up above. You do get your 32 inch flat panel TV that does open up for more storage behind it. So if you do have a PlayStation, Xbox, something you want to put in right back here, you can just hook it directly into your TV or just use it as more storage. And then you get more storage on the front here. But again, great job with that LED accenting on the top of the cabinetry. 
You do get a curtain to close off the bedroom area, so that way you can give yourself some more privacy if need be. And going back a little further, we get storage on top of the refrigerator. And then you do have the gas electric refrigerator. Plenty of room in the freezer, and same with the refrigerator. And going back a little further, we do have his and her hanging space for clothing. So here's your first wardrobe. And then you do get three drawers for more clothes. Furnace outlet. And coming back into the bathroom, here is going to be the second wardrobe space with room to hang clothing. Deep storage here. And then you do get pull out storage, three drawers, which you can just use for storage if you don't want to use it for clothing. You get 110 outlets, and then you do get the mirror which doubles as a medicine cabinet. So you open that up and you do get the storage behind the mirror. Then down below is gonna be your stainless steel bowl sink. And more storage underneath the sink. And what's really convenient is Thor has put in the water filter underneath the sink. So that way it's easy to access and easy to change when that time arises. Then you do get the toilet with the foot flush and a window behind the toilet, which does have the blackout curtain behind it with the slow riser so that way you can just easily get that right back up then here is going to be your walk-in shower that does have the skylight giving you extra room up top so that way you can fully fit in there then coming in right here this is going to be your tankless water heater controls this is where you're going to set your temperature and then up top here you are going to have your fan so it's a fully ventilated bathroom you have heat in air in and air out so a fully ventilated bathroom and what's really sharp is Thor's added in this pocket door here so that way you can close off this bathroom give yourself the privacy you need and not get any fumes coming in through that bathroom just put them on the dinette right here then it's a euro loft design so you turn a key press one button your bed's going to come down, take this bracket apart right here, fold it over, it's magnetically attached to the bed itself, then you drop it down like so. Now your bed's made, as easy as that. Now that we've got the bed made, you can just see how much room the Murphy bed gives you. So by folding the bed down, you can see you get three large cabinets up above for storage, beautiful LED accent lights up top, and reading lights below the cabinets. A window on the side giving you ventilation and more light from the outside. But you can just see how large this bed actually is. And you still get room to walk around the bed and get when you get up in the middle of the night. Makes it gives you easy in and out access to the bathroom. And underneath the mattress, you are going to have the leaf spring design, which is going to give you more support and also ventilation so your mattress doesn't get hot at night. One thing I want to cover, this is your controls for the multiplex wiring system. This is the main home screen right here, which has your master lights on or off, your tank levels, water pump, tank heater controls, house and chassis battery levels, generator stop and start controls, auto gen start controls as well. Second screen, this is going to be your auto gen start based off time, temperature, and voltage, and that just starts your generator based on those three categories. You have your lights. Master lights on or off, and you can control it by section. The arrows mean a dimming function, so you hold it and the lights will dim. You can control your air conditioning, heat pump, furnace, and your fans. Get your slide out, in or out, and your awning. And in the settings page, when you go to the mobile app, that's how you connect to the Vega Touch Mirror app. Down below, that's going to be your radio controls. And then if you get the diesel gen op option, this is the control for the diesel generator. Hit that button on. It's going to tell you to wait to start, and then you just hit the start button. The generator can start right back up. And right down here, this is going to be several different items. You're going to have one, the controls for your step, the power switch for your inverter, your solar controller, 
which is being charged by the solar panel up on the roof currently. You get your main power switch, which is that red light you see right there. It gives you power from your house battery. And then you get your four point hydraulic leveling system controls right here. You just turn that on, hit auto. It's gonna automatically level the coach. You can do the manual override where you can level it yourself. And then when you wanna retract the jacks, you just hit retract and it retracts them all automatically. One question I always get requested by customers is how much access do you get to the rear bathroom from the front of the coach? So as you can see here, we got the slide fully in, you get an access way all the way to the rear bath. Now what everybody wants to see, the new redesigned Mercedes-Benz chassis. This comes on a three liter V6 turbo diesel engine that lets out 188 horsepower and 325 pound feet of torque with a new seven speed automatic transmission giving you two extra gears and better fuel economy going down the road. You also get a new multifunctional steering wheel which gives you all of the controls on the left side that'll operate the gauge cluster, on the right side it'll operate the new 10.25 inch MBUX system. Now this is something really sharp Mercedes added in it's all touchscreen and gives you a lot of different functions. You connect your phone by Bluetooth, you can make your calls, have your navigation going, you get radio, also Sirius XM, you got your media info, which can give you uh, fuel economy, def levels, filter levels, you got your Mercedes apps, and you got your settings. In the settings, you're going to see your safety features. So you get traffic sign assist, active lane keep assist, active brake assist, attention assist, and you also have adaptive cruise control as well. And what's something that's pretty cool is on the actual gauge cluster, it'll pick up traffic signs for speed limit signs. So that way you can actually see the speed limit in your area. And up top, you do have your rear view mirror with your integrated backup camera. That's gonna show whatever's behind you going down the road, whether you're towing something or not. It also makes changing lanes extremely convenient. But give you another look at the steering wheel. You can notice you can make a call, end a call, uh, volume up, down, home screen. On these little black squares, that's your mouse to control the MBUX system. On the left side, you got a mouse to control the gauge cluster itself. Also settings for your adaptive cruise control. Set your actual cruise control itself. And then on the side here, you got your auto lights. You've got power adjustable seats with lumbar support. Also heated seats, something that's really unique to all motorhomes. Also. You're going to have power adjustable side view mirrors and you're going to notice these beautiful seats down below do have extensions so that way if you need a little more room you can pull it out bring it right back in and they've also redesigned the cup holders new cup holders in this and you also get the push to start functions just have your key fob on you press the brake press the button engine starts up automatically what's really cool is you don't even need to type in your destination for the gps all you have to say is Mercedes how may I help you and you just tell her your destination and you don't even have to touch anything extremely convenient we've also added in the charging package so right here pops up if you have a wireless charging phone you just plop it right on top charges your phone you also get outlets back there as well and more cup holders you'll notice on the sides there you also are gonna get side curtain airbags and airbags on the seats as well. You do get a sunshade. It's going to be a magnetic sunshade on the side doors and a normal sunshade for the front. So you can get the privacy and escape from the heat when you're parked at your campsite. Right there, that's going to be the adjustments for your power shade up top on that windshield. 